uh, welcome to tech design uh, i hope you are enjoying all my drafting uh, workbench tutorials so if you have not checked my previous tutorial videos on uh, drafting workbench so please go to my channel and check uh, drafting uh, tutorial playlist and check them all uh, because i will be just keeping a link between one video to another view uh, video so we have already discussed uh, insert new sheet and view creation wizard as well as base view and then uh, projected view in my uh, you know already existing videos so please go to my playlist and check all the videos so in this tutorial we will discuss on uh, detailed view so as the name suggested it is a detailed view which is given to any of the view uh, in order to you know give a dimensions of uh, you know any uh, small uh, you know slot or any 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 feature that is not given in a normal view so yeah you can see here you, there are number of you know uh, slots over here so it is very difficult for us to give and uh, you know define these um, uh, slots so it is very difficult to provide uh, you know dimensions for these all these slots so in that case what we can do is suppose if this view is a one is to one scale and uh, you want to uh, you know uh, expand only at this area and you want to make this area to you know two is to one in order to provide a dimension so you can use just to use this uh, you know detailed view i hope everyone knows about um, uh, what is detail view so we'll just just go to detail view over here and you can just activate and as uh, you know discussed in projected view we can just go to right click here and as well as we can just you know activate this detail view or else you can just go to you know uh, the view and here uh, as well you can see the de detailed view so we will just go to here and uh, hit on uh, detail view we can we have a uh, two kind of uh, detail view one is circular and one is rectangle so depending on your requirement you can just give a circular or a rectangle so i'll just show you how to create a circular one so everything is same uh, same for uh, even rectangle by corner as well so let us discuss on uh, circular one so as a name suggests circular so which means you need to provide a center point and then a boundary point so we'll just you know uh, hit on a center point so uh, you can see here uh, which is our you know this is our uh, area of view where you want to you know make a detailed view so in that case the center uh, would be this uh, will be fine and uh, you can just make a boundary in order to you know uh, complete all these uh, you know slots so we can just keep until this and uh, you can just hit the boundary for this so now uh, you can see these the, these are the different placement methods so these placement methods will already discussed in you know projected views so we can just go to projected view and uh, everything is uh, same for here as well so this is the reason why i am telling uh, people to you know watch all my videos so we just need to make sure that these peer placement are already discussed in projected view and you have watched this and now you can see here and uh, once you you know place this you can also see the scale here so scale is always you know make sure that is uh, you know more than uh, the parent view so if you are keeping it is 1 is to 1 so which is same as the parent view uh, it doesn't make sense uh, for making a detailed view of uh, keeping the same scale so always make sure to keep it is uh, 2 is to 1 um, and also we have one uh, labels on parent as you can see so now uh, the parent is nothing but this circle say for example i'll just keep it as a none and I'll just click on this, uh, place the views. So as soon as you play, uh, place the view, we can see here the view is 2 is to 1. And this is our parent view, which is 1 is to 1. And I'll just go to click uh, on this boundary, uh, right click on a boundary and go to edit. So this will take you to edit window uh, where you want to, suppose if you want to change anything, whether you want to change the scale or you want to change the place of this view, uh, you can just change it. Also, if you want to change the boundary, also you can just change, you know drag these points and change the boundary as well. So now uh, you can see the label if it is a none. So uh, the whatever you can see here in the parent view, we don't have any labels here. Say suppose if you want to highlight it with a you know circular uh, label, uh, in that case you can just go to circle here. So once you give a circle, uh, you can see the circle that comes here. And if you want to circle with uh, some label uh, pointing out uh, it is a detail view A, so you can just go to label, uh, you can see the label over here. And we have multiple options, so embedded is nothing but this A will come inside this uh, circle. And you can also place this way A uh, wherever you want, you can just drag it and you can place it. And you can just go to edit again. And if you want to change whatever the way you want, you can just change it uh, the way you want. But uh, most commonly used is, is this label. 
so this label will be used for uh, in many cases and you can just uh, close this uh, the, the detail view will be shown here and you can just move the labels uh, wherever you want and this also you can just move and place it somewhere uh, the way you want so this is all about uh, you know detailed view guys so once this detailed view is you know appeared here you can just provide the dimensions for all these slots uh, and clearly it will be visible um, in the drawing so i hope you enjoyed this uh, you know detailed view please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys